Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the oxygen set by Mel Chemistry, we will see how a smoldering splint ignites in pure oxygen. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective goggles before performing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. For the burning in pure oxygen experiment, you will need the manganese dioxide and a measuring spoon. From the starter kit, you will need the flask and the funnel. You will also need a splint, a lighter or matches, and a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. In this experiment, you will be working with a flame, so for safety reasons, keep a bowl of water nearby. Take the flask and put the funnel into it. Pour 40 milliliters of the 3% hydrogen peroxide solution into the flask. Now remove the funnel and add one small measuring spoon of manganese dioxide to it. As soon as the manganese dioxide is added, the hydrogen peroxide starts to actively decompose into water and oxygen. This makes the reaction mixture bubble. The manganese dioxide acts as a catalyst for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Now take the gloves off and ignite the splint. Let it burn for 10 seconds and then blow it out. The splint will be smoldering. Now insert the smoldering splint into the flask. Be careful not to touch the walls nor the solution. The splint will ignite with a bright flash. Smoldering of a splint is a reaction of wood, which the splint is made of, with the oxygen in the air. As almost pure oxygen accumulates in the flask due to the hydrogen peroxide decomposition, the reaction with wood proceeds more intensively and the splint ignites. Remember to place the flask on the tray. This is an exothermic reaction and the flask will get very hot during the experiment. Be careful not to touch it, but wait until it has cooled down. For safety reasons, extinguish the splint in the bowl of water once you've finished the experiment. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.